Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. I want to wish you guys happy holidays. I hope you guys are spending it well and <laughs> being around your loved ones and uh, taking care of yourselves. Okay, how are you doing Gemini? How are you feeling? I know you guys are going through major transformations. Um, so let's get into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of December 2020. Now your first card here is, oh, Ten of Swords. Second card here is the Knight of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. And the King of Wands. Okay. All right, so the Ten of Swords uh, speaks about... This is kind of um, exactly what, you know, astrologically what's going on right now. I think that uh, for the remaining of the year, um, Gemini, Scorpio, uh, Gemini, Scorpio, Capricorn, and uh, Libra are going through major transitions right now. Um, with the Ten of Swords, this is speaking directly about an ending cycle. Uh, for some of you guys, this could represent... Um, haven't experienced uh, some type of hurt, some type of betrayal. Um, this is the Ten of Swords usually indicates an ending cycle. So it could have been an ending cycle or a cycle that is coming to a conclusion. With the Knight of Pentacles, you may be dealing with Earth energy or with fire energy, as we do have here the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Um, there's communication that's going to be coming towards you, Gemini. Uh, with the Eight of Cups, this could indicate uh, a situation. Um, for some of you guys, this could be an ex returning. With the Ten of Swords, there was an ending cycle, an ending uh, relationship. And the Knight of Pentacles, there hasn't been any type of communication or hearing from them or them trying to reach out. And out of nowhere, the month of December, they may actually come towards you with the Eight of Cups. I feel that this was a situation where perhaps for some of you guys, you walked away from this connection. Um, this could also represent um, a relationship that came to a conclusion. And it could have been you, uh, Gemini, that walked away from this connection. It could be vice versa. It is a general reading. But uh, what they're showing me here with the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, they're definitely coming towards you. And with the King of Wands, um, this could be, again, like I said, Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For others of you, it could be fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, and I also see water here, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Cancer. But what they're showing me here is almost like them really missing you from a distance or they've been watching you or they got some news about you. For some of you guys, it could be that they heard that you're co currently going through some type of situation and they're trying to reach out. Um, but I feel that they're using this as an excuse because they genuinely have been wanting to reach out uh, prior to that. Uh, with the Eight of Cups, I, I feel it's almost the feeling like them really thinking about you or have you weighing heavy on their mind. Um, with the King of Wands, though, I feel that uh, what they're telling you in this situation is you have to be strong, Gemini. Especially for those of you guys that there was a breakup and it's been like over a year that you haven't heard from this person and they have never tried to reach out and all of all of a sudden they're reaching out uh with the king of wands it's giving me almost the um <clears throat> it's giving me the reverse type of energy and the king of wands in reverse usually indicates a person that uh runs off of desires like they listen more to their impulse than their head um, and it doesn't mean that it's going to be something that sticks because, I, again, I'm feeling the energy in reverse position. And this is a person that comes in and goes out. Um, it could be because of the holidays. It could be that they're being very nostalgic, that they're trying to reach out to you. Uh, that the, Again, like I said, you are definitely on their mind. But I feel that uh, it has more to do because life hasn't panned out exactly the way they thought it would. Uh, now, for others of you, this could be... Uh, that you're going through some type of healing uh, with the Ten of Swords. There could have been some type of conclusion, some type of ending. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles, it's going to take a while for you guys to be able to heal, to overcome uh, whatever heartbreak that you have gone through. But with the Eight of Cups, you're being guided. You're being protected. Spirit is guiding you, and it's taking you towards a... Uh, 
towards more feeling more stronger, uh, being more confident in yourself and knowing without a doubt that there is protection around you. Now, if you guys can see here very close up right here by the king, we have um, their they're like lizards. Um, and this is speaking to me directly about the spiritual realm. So again, um, I do see a lot of, you know, I see spirit guides around you guys. I see uh, this could be uh, past loved ones that are no longer present here in our lives. I feel that they're definitely around you and they're going to be around you uh, because there is, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups, it's been a long journey for you guys. Um, for some of you guys, it could be that uh, you've been going towards some type of achievement, some type of goal, and it's taking you a while. Um, nonetheless, you will succeed in this. And with the Eight of Cups, it's like you're paving your own way uh, or you're starting fresh or you're walking towards the achievement of that goal or aspiration that you've been trying to make happen. And with the protection of your spirit guides or uh, past loved ones that are no longer here, they're definitely sharing and basking in that happiness or that um, that moment of joy, that moment of pride. So again, uh, very beautiful reading uh, on a spiritual level, you guys. I feel that you are being guided um, for a lot of you guys. What they're telling you is for this month of December, there's going to be a realization for some of you uh, that there is a certain pattern or a certain behavior that you have a tendency of doing. Um, <clears throat> for some of you guys, it could be procrastination. Um, and what they're saying here is that you're going to come to that understanding, like, I need to stop doing this shit if I want to make things happen. And then you put blinders on and you just walk towards that, you know, that achievement, that goal that you're trying to make happen. And it happens for you. So, again, a beautiful reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys uh, in reference to a direct message for you, Gemini. We're using the rebel deck. This is a very in-your-face type of energy. So let's see what spirit wants to communicate with Gemini's sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right. So you have, you got a feeling you just can't shake. You got a feeling you just can't shake. And then it says that little voice inside, that little voice inside you, listen to that shit. So... I feel that this is Spirit's way of telling you, if you've been feeling lately like um, this intuition is, is getting stronger or if you feel like uh, you're being whispered or guided or, or shown a way, uh, pay attention to that because that's your Spirit's trying to guide you towards uh, the life path that you're wanting to achieve or manifest. Um, and again, I feel heavily, uh, you know, spirit really being around you guys so pay attention to your intuition um if you feel like you are having a gut feeling this could be like if you're hopping in your car and you're about to go to work and all of a sudden you have this feeling like you have to take a different route listen to that because i feel that they're trying to open your eyes towards some type of communication so pay attention to that gemini i hope you guys enjoyed this readings uh, again i wish you guys the very best on these holidays and we'll see each other soon bye